You guys want to see how powerful the bite is of the Central American snapper ah! ah! My fascination with snapping turtles has spanned nearly 30 years of time. And no matter how many of these prehistoric looking reptiles I catch, I can't wait for the next encounter. On the Brave Wilderness Channel, we have featured the two most recognizable species, the highly aggressive common snapping turtle and its much larger lumbering cousin, the alligator snapping turtle. But did you know there is another species? And it just happens to be located in Costa Rica. What's going on guys? Right now we are on location in Costa Rica, filming once again at the Costa Rican Amphibian Research Center. And as you can see right behind us here, this is our jungle base camp. Now we have been to Costa Rica nine times and every time we visit this location, I am always looking for the Central American snapping turtle. And lo and behold, there is a juvenile one right down here in this pond. I've seen it for a couple days now, and I did post some photos on Instagram. We're gonna get it up close for the cameras this morning. You probably can't see it on the GoPro. Mario, you recognize it down there blended in with the leaves? I see it. About right there in that beam of light. Okay, yep. so I'm gonna catch the turtle. We're gonna get up close for the cameras and do a, a quick little off the cuff presentation. You ready? Ready. I don't know if this is deep or not though, so I guess we'll find out. Oh, oh, oh. Come here, buddy. Nice. Icy and muddy. Oh, yes. There you have it. Look at that guy. Oh, look at that. Nice. Showing an aggressive, oh. oh, aggressive display right from the start. Now, this is the Central American snapping turtle. And you guys are probably saying to yourselves, Coyote, it looks just like a common snapping turtle. Why are you so excited about this? This is actually a different species, right? So the common snapping turtle, Shalydra serpentina, is the one that we find in the United States. As you guys also know, there is the alligator snapping turtle, the largest snapping turtle species. This species specifically doesn't grow quite as large as the other two, but it doesn't mean it's any less exciting. Look at you with that mouth all the way. Oh, you wanna try to bite the hat? Let's see what happens. Yep, a little chomp on the brim of the hat. Yeah, you're not gonna get much purchase there, are you? So what is the difference between this species and the common snapping turtle, considering the fact they look so similar? First of all, let's take a look. Can you behave for just a second? Let's take a look at the plaster on. Oh, he's so strong. Notice this black and white coloration, right? And as we know, the plastrons on snapping turtles are smaller than other turtles, which means they can't tuck into their shells, which is why they've developed these defensive techniques. Yes, I see you are so intimidating. But you'll also notice how that black and white also transitions down into the tail. Look at the speckling on the underside of the tail. How cool looking is that? Now, this is a voracious predator, just like its cousins. And what they will do this time of day is slowly move through the environment. And if you notice, the top of the turtle shell, which as you guys know is called the carapace, is very dark in coloration, whereas the underside is very light. And what that allows this turtle to do is hunt near the surface. So if a tadpole or a fish is looking up or coming near the surface, the turtle just looks like it's sunlight coming down through the water. If it's hunting at the surface, its shell also helps keep it camouflaged from any potential predators. Because believe it or not, a turtle like this does still have predators. I know, I see you really wanna bite something. You guys wanna see how powerful the bite is of the Central American snapping turtle? You wanna shite? Yeah? Everyone yeah. See that. All right, let's see what happens, ready? Ah! Ooh, that's a pretty good chomp right there. Ooh, 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 it's worse when he turns to the side. Ah! Let me have my finger back, please, please. Ah, 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 there we go. Ah, bit of power, but not big enough to break skin yet. Now, one of the coolest features about this turtle is I don't know if you can see these little fleshy appendages coming off of the bottom of the chin there. Those work just like the tongue of the alligator snapping turtle. And what this turtle will do is stay there underwater and those little appendages move. That draws in fish or tadpoles. And then of course, once they get close, they lash out and snap up their meal. Wow, this is such a cool turtle. Another really distinct feature that you'll notice is look at the very distinct lines the dark coloration between the forelimbs and the hind limbs, right? So that 
splendid camouflage between the bottom of the turtle and the top of the turtle. I have to keep maneuvering my finger there so that I do not take another bite. Wow, well, what's so cool about this is it is the first time that I have found and caught the Central American snapping turtle. So for me, this is a completely new species. Now you may be looking at this turtle and saying, to yourself, well, it's pretty small. Do they only get this big? No, they do get bigger. This one's probably about two to two and a half years of age and they grow to be about 20 to 30 pounds. So on par with the common snapping turtle. But nonetheless, it always excites me to be able to find a reptile as cool as this. As you guys know, I absolutely love mud dragons. And on my ninth trip here to Costa Rica, I finally managed to get this species up close for the cameras. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. All right, ready to let him go? Yep. All right, buddy. Let's watch as he disappears back into the mud to continue hunting for fish and tadpoles. Bye, bud. Whoa, there he goes. Finding and catching a Central American snapping turtle has always been one of my goals when it comes to visiting Costa Rica. And while it may not have been a record-breaking giant, this little turtle was just as feisty <coughs> as his bigger cousins. <coughs> What a day. No muddy boots. Oh, man. Is that the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit? It is. Oh, I gotta get it. Wait! It's booby-trapped. Oh! Centipedes? Bullet ants? Legos! Oh, I'm going for it anyways. Why did it have to be Legos? I made it. All right, I've got a lizard in my pocket. I'm gonna swap it out. Here we go, ready? One, two. Yes, I got it. The Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit. Yes. All right, I'm coming back. Ah. Toss it to me. Ah. I got it. Ah. Toss it here, toss it. Ah. I've got it, toss it. No, I can't trust you. You're a bullet ant. I've never failed you before, Coyote. Come on, toss it to me. Come on. Uh, all right, here we go, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh. Now help me across. Yes. <laughs> I am the king of sting. Coyote, wake up. Huh? Oh. You sleeping? Oh, whoa. Dude, I just had the craziest dream. We were filming an episode, we came back, my boots were all muddy, and we walked into the office. It was like a scene out of Indiana Jones. And the Brave Wilderness Adventure Kit was there, and I was trying to get it, and there were bullet ants, and centipedes, and spider webs, and, and you were a bullet ant. A bullet ant, and you stole the adventure kit from me. Uh, I, first of all, I, I would never do that to you, but dude, it was only a dream, don't worry. Dragon season is just around the corner. And if you are excited for more snapping turtle encounters, make sure to go back and watch this episode from our turtle adventures last year. And don't forget, subscribe 
and click the notification bell so you can join me and the crew on our next wild adventure.